Hello everyone. Thanks for viewing. I'm Mayaya. Shalom. I'm going to be talking about the Great Tribulation. So I'm going to show you that we have never been in captivity and that we have never been cursed and that we have been in tribulation and invaded. And I'm going to show you that from the end time prophecy. So again, thank you. I am Yaya. If you want to know where we are today in the span of the end time and are we in a tribulation or are we in captivity of a curse, please stay tuned. I'm going to open up the scripture to you from the great creator, Yahuwah. Thank you. So here we go. We are in Matthews. And I went over in the other video, Matthew 24, 9, 10, 11. Uh, that's the first video. So today I am going over starting from verse 15. And I'm going to open up this text to you so you can understand for the Creator and the Messiah, Yahushua, is talking about. So this is verse 15 of uh, chapter 24 of Matthew. It is saying, Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place, So whoever read it, let him understand. That's in parentheses that have been added. Number 16. Then let those who are in your deal flee to the mountains. Let those who are on the mountain top not come down. Let those who are in the fields don't come back to get any clothes. And woe to those who are with children and nursing. This is about the tribulation, as you know. And so let me break it down, starting from verse 15, the abomination. Now first I want to give you the background of the platform and I have to do a whole video on this because it's too long to go over everything. But this America is the true Israel. America, Mexico, and Canada. That is Israel. The bottom part of America is Jerusalem. 4,000 square feet was uh, Jerusalem from the day of uh, Messiah, Yahushua. So, I'm giving you the background so you can understand that it's a fake land they're trying to point you to. You have to not be deceived because the enemy is always trying to deceive you. And that's why many people are confused. So that's fake Israel, wipe it off. To be frank with you, anything you learn in Christianity, you need to wipe it off, wipe it out of your life and let the creator and his call teachers who honor the true commandments of his, you need to let them teach you, okay? And some of them haven't made it to this point yet. But they will if they keep going. So, the abomination is America invading Israel, the United States, Israel. This one third that Satan, America Satan, that supposedly took off a part of the heaven, is the 
America, this land in America, one third of this continent was taken by America, the beast power, beast mean power, and the abomination is that this is an evil power. She worshiped many gods. Her main god is money. Her next god is Jesus, which helped her to subdue the whole world. That's her main god. Jesus. Jesus helped her to subdue the whole world through the false Messiah, which they call God, and the false God, which they call God and Jehovah. So that's an abomination. Okay? It's an abomination. It's an abomination when you worship other gods besides the great creator, Yahuwah. And if you don't worship him by his name, you're not worshiping him. You worship with other gods. It's an abomination that you have a false idol that you're bowing down to called Jesus. Who you give the title, Lord. So these are the abomination here in Israel. Here in Jerusalem. A Jerusalem with a Y. It was no J in any alphabets until maybe the 16 or 17 hundreds. So they made it up. Okay, so that's the abomination here. Understand that? Of desolation. As I told you, it say, so desolation is a desolate place. It's desolate of the holy creator's children. And it's desolate of the holy word of the creator. So that's the abomination of desolation. And so here this desolation spoken to by the prophet. So you can see here how it became desolate. Now, unlike the lies in the text in Deuteronomy 28, these are the true children. These are the ones who is doing the commandments. The other people that came in and obeyed it are not. So these are, and the Messiah, Yahushua, is telling them to run. Run for your lives. <laughs> so this, so they left the place desolate. They ran for their life. They scattered themselves everywhere. In the mountains. In other parts of the countries. Outside of Jerusalem. Because they came to take the city. Jerusalem. It was a beautiful city. Not made with hands. It was 100% pure gold and diamonds and all the precious stones. But the gold and diamonds and emeralds and sapphire was from the outside and inside too. The streets of the city, all through the city, the city had many mansions, like a million mansions. 100,000 cities inside the city. So, the streets, pure diamond, clear as glass. <laughs> anyway, the city going to come down again. It's going to be renewed. It's going to be 
larger. It's going to be everything double, triple time. And so that's the desolation with all the people ran. And let me get to verse 20. And this is going to help you understand the true people of Yahuwah. Because most teachers mixed, miss this. And I suppose a lot of them are trying to get ratings and they don't want to say certain things about America. And some of them may not know. And some of them being persuaded by their ratings or by people on their channel. And I, I'm not putting them down. I'm not. I love all my brothers and sisters. All of them. Those who are in the awakening and those who are not. It's up to the Father to separate us. And so, I have no way of knowing who it's going to be. And so, uh, so I'm not saying anything to dispute them. All I'm saying, I'm saying what the Creator, Yahuwah, gave to me. And the Creator want the truth about him out. It's not many people willing to tell it because it's different. It's different from the written text that they have lied and manipulated. In. And so, here in verse 20, it's going to, 20 and 21, it's going to culminate it. So, you can see what I'm saying. So, verse 20, and pray that your flight, you're running away from these people coming in and debating to kill you and murder you. Pray that it don't be uh, in the winter time. On the Sabbath. <laughs> Why the Sabbath? Because on the Sabbath, you're taking off to pray, to study, to be in the assemblies, to read and digest the truth and the word. So they're going to catch you unaware. So the Messiah is saying to you, pray that it will be on these times. Because that's going to make it harder for you. It's already going to be hard. you got to leave your home, your comfort. You, your children got to go into the wilderness. On a Sabbath day, many people ain't willing to open their doors and entertain or, or or do things with anybody so you won't be able to get much help in the winter time resources are scarce but i want you to see there the sabbath so that means these children are the righteous let's go to 21 for then there will be a great tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of time until then. <laughs> so you can see that this is the tribulation and not a curse. Now I told you in my other videos what is a curse and what is a tribulation the main difference is a curse only the creator is involved only him he don't need nobody else doing anything for him he would not give any his judgment to be put on you to nobody else so therefore they are lying so only the creator is involved in a curse. 
whatever he curse you with, it's going to be. Like if he curse your land, it's going to be. Your land is not going to produce. He's not going to curse everybody. He's not going to curse the good with the evil. No, no, no. That's not him. Just because it said it rains on the just like it do the unjust. That don't mean he's going to punish the just with the unjust. It don't mean that. So down here again in 21, where there's great tribulation, such as never been since the beginning of the world up until now, and nor shall it ever be again. Now I told you you would be hated by all nations. In the first video and that's a clue that you are in a tribulation and also here you understand a tribulation is what people do to bring things against you oppression segregation stealing your identity refusing to accept you as the chosen Taking your inheritance, oppressing your children, putting them in jail, not giving you fair wages so you can live. That's oppression done by other people and hated by all nations. If you can get a hundred thousand people together today to go to any nations and say, can you help me? Can we live here? America is mistreating us. They say, no, nah, we, we ain't got nothing to do with it. No, no, no. Because America and them is in the bed together. America paid them to be on their side. On, on, America side and so therefore you have no footing with none of these nations they all are willing to hate you for America and for a piece of whatever America give them and so that is the symbol of the end time and you can see all these symbols in play today if you can't is no hope for you <laughs> it ain't no hope because you don't want to see if you can't see these signs in this tribulation section here it's no hope for you what I want to say is no hope it's hope if you seek but you got to be willing to seek and so most people are not and that's why I'm saying it's no hope for you but that's my opinion <laughs> I do hope there's hope for everyone I do hope that everyone is willing to see and change. But I'm not saying that you need to know this information. But I am saying you should stop lying on the creator. You should stop accepting other people's words. Your enemy words that he curse you. And accept his word that this is a tribulation. The Messiah told you. The Messiah was here at the end of time. And he was telling them at that time. Because he wanted them to know. And I am getting a little sweaty and I'm a little absolutely sorry. So he was telling them this at the end of time. He was here at the end of time. So that's what he was talking about. And John put it into play. But Daniel, back over 2,500 years ago, saw the end of time. And the Messiah was further put it into play. Nowhere in all that time since Daniel and many of the other, other prophets, nowhere for the last probably 30, 40, 50,000 years have anyone talked of slavery being a curse except 
your enemy, who is the devil, who is the devils. They are the devils. Because the devil only has one spirit. That's the difference between the devil and the creator. See, the, the, the creator got you no know, spirit to give us all spirits to live. But the devil don't. He only have his one spirit that the creator gave him. So he's really not as powerful as you. The only way that America is powerful is she get everybody to agree with her. But I don't want to hold you much longer. But I want to wrap it up here for you to see the abomination, which is America in the righteous land. This is the righteous land of the creator. This is his only land. This Israel. This is his only land. The land here is fake. The people are fake. And so I don't want to talk about them. But I'm telling you the truth. And if you know the creator, you will know this is the truth. If you abide in him, you're going to know it's the truth that I'm telling you today. And so this is the abomination that they are even here on this land. They are hateful sinners. And no sin is supposed to be able to dwell here. So this is abomination. And the desolation is the cheering had to run and hide. The creator cheering who loves him and worship him and honor him by his true name and the Messiah by his true name. They had to run and hide. And as you can read here in this little segment that he was telling them, don't even go back to get your clothes. Go. Because you got to be murdered. And so after that part was over, the creator said that was like 10 years. So after that part was over, then, and that's also in uh, Revelation, it's going to be 10 years. Now, the thing that's happening in the tribulation today, it, the tribulation is still going on. It's in pieces. It's most of it because of his children is still holding on to all the lies that they've given us. And they won't turn them loose. And so, but if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me. Uh, but do read this and pray that the Creator give you understanding. I do not shy away from any questions. But I do want to warn you. If you got all kind of questions for the teachers of the Creator or Yahuwah, but you have no questions for the demons that gave you the lies. Then something's wrong with your faith. You're not willing to accept the creator truth. And you say, my yaya, it's just hard. Of course it's hard because it's the truth. <laughs> A lie is much easier if you don't have your heart lined it up. I'm not saying it's wrong to ask, ask questions. I'm saying it's wrong to be partial. To accept the lie that the evil people gave you. And you can see they are evil. They don't hide they are evil. <laughs> you can see they are evil. So you can accept their lies. They call you African American. They don't even exist. African American don't even exist. It's not a person. It's not a place. It's nothing. They call you black America. Don't even exist. They call you Negro. Don't even exist. They give you Jesus. Don't even exist. They give you Lord God and Jehovah. Don't even exist. But yes, you, yet you question the most high. When he give you the true and right answer. Through his servants. Who work for free. <laughs> and who is persecuted for teaching the right thing. So I'm just asking you and telling you, think about what you're doing. All right, before you indulge yourself in all these manipulations. Again, family, thank you. Again, Shadon. Have a great day. 
this has been about the tribulation that we have been in and are still in today. We are at the end of the tribulation. But it has never been a curse and it has never been captivity. Shalom.